I'm going to begin. I'm going to ask you a question first, Colin, because you worked with John 24 years ago now. And I'm just wondering how it was collaborating with someone again after that sort of period. And if you think you've changed as an actor in that time. Ooh. Um, well, what's it like? I bet John and I have a friendship which predates that and, and exists um, outside work anyway. <clears throat> We'd met over the possibility of doing something mid-90s, early 90s perhaps. And uh, it didn't happen. And then uh, Shakespeare in Love, I, my, the role in, my role is relatively minor. Um, but I remember being completely enthralled to him as a director um, and as a person. And we remained friends. We actually live quite close to each other. And so we've, we've seen a lot of each other over the years and tried to collaborate again in things that didn't, again, didn't work out. And then so somehow... I, I felt it was it was always bound to happen at some point. Whereas you two hadn't worked together before, had you? And I mean, because because I, I mean, it seems you know you're both such renowned kind of treasured actors here. It's a little surprising your paths haven't crossed. But did you guys know each other at all? No, not really. We we bumped into each other a couple of times at mm. various events, and um, yeah. Mm. But no, I, no, I, no. I I oh well I I'm I'll blow smoke now. But I. When I was sort of thinking about the possibility of being an actor when I was a teenager, Colin was um, a big influence, really. You know, uh, Tumble Down. No, was it called Tumble Down? Yeah, yeah it was Tumble Down. Yeah, and it was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah a film about the Falklands War child. and um, mm. directed by Richard Eyre and mm. um, and another one called A Month in the Country with Ken Branagh. Around and, the same time, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a, yeah, yeah. a small child. I a small imagine. child, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And Matthew, I mean, Chal Mondelay, I don't know if I've said that right. And then and, and Wams Gams. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing the surname of her. Why do I get such complicated surnames? Yeah. <laughs> but this must, I mean, this is a great character to play. It must have been a no brainer, I assume, to, to get involved in this project. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it really was. It really was. Um, just the people involved and the, and the story and the um, Michelle's script. And it was great. It was great. Mm. And also has a sport a great moustache. I was wondering, across both of your wonderful careers, if you've, if you've ever been tempted to adopt a style from a character you play, be it a hairstyle, facial hair, certain clothes or fashion, because I guess being an actor is one long ability to play dress up. So have you ever found something that, that stuck? I try to, I've tried to wear a hat in real life. <laughs> it didn't work out? No, I look, I look dreadful. I looked... When you're a period, you know, you can wear it. I wore a bowler hat for this TV show quite, for quite, and I really, it, when, it, when you're wearing the rest of the gear, it looks great, but other, in real life, not that I tried to wear a bowler hat, but I've tried to wear other sort of headgear and it hasn't worked. Well, I, I worn to suits over the years, I suppose. It's a yes. slightly dull answer, but um, I think it, you know, as, as one ages, I think, you know, that was what I discovered that that probably was my only shot at um, being sartorially convincing. Suits are good. I'm a fan of suits. Yeah. 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 Um, but otherwise, it's cod pieces and britches, and you know, so they're not something you can import into your life, really. But, I mean, dressing up's not the only good part, obviously, of what you do. Because, because I, I was thinking about giving the sort of the the glory to people that perhaps in history can go kind of or can be sidelined and go on, on on the kind of on yeah on the sidelines. Because in this, it felt like you know these guys with the characters you play saved countless lives, but they could walk down the street and everyone was completely oblivious to their kind of accomplishments. Is that part of the joy in bringing their their story to the big screen? I think that's part of the fascination of those men and women at that time. There was no reflected. Glory. There was no public recognition, or I mean, no, there were. Well, there wasn't, was there? And they were. And there was a sort of pathological secrecy and self-discipline about keeping everything safe and secret at those times, which I'm sure still exists now in certain areas of you know. I think there's a fascination. And in fact, I'm sure Ben McIntyre mentions this in in some of his books. Um, what attro- what draws people to that world, and I think there is something um, probably quite magnetic you know about a role in the world which is has such high stakes and requires such extraordinary um ability uh, that that remains secret I, I i think there's just something that must be you know possibly frustrating about it for some people but also truly fascinating but, yeah and deeply yeah. rewarding because it's sort of selfless and it's not about you it's a collective mm. determination and work towards you know in their case towards Ending the war, mm. Um, mm. but yeah, they weren't sort of flag waving about it. 
No, I thought it was a wonderful film and you guys did their story justice. So thank you so much and good luck with the release of the film. Thank and you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!